Um, David, first of all, in terms of team news, having had a hectic Christmas period, how are you shaping up this weekend? Yeah, apart from the suspension of Christopher Schindler, all the players who were available in the last couple of weeks are available. We have no further injury concerns. Is there, I mean, everybody in this country understands who talks about the FA Cup, its tradition, its history, its special competition. Are, are you in a dilemma right now because you've obviously got to fight in the Premier League um, between prioritising the next game, which is in the FA Cup, and maybe a, a massive game next week against Cardiff City? Yeah, I think this is a general situation which you face that the FA Cup usually always is. Uh, on the end of a very, very intense period which we all together had over Christmas and, and, and New Year. On the other hand, uh, for us, uh, we need a result. We need this winning feeling back as, as quick as we can. And the next opportunity for this is, is tomorrow. Yeah, we are aware about the, the big game which we have uh, in the Premier League, but for us, it's now a big game in another competition, and this is the FA Cup, and this is why we should only be focused on, on this game tomorrow. Is getting that winning feeling in the FA Cup then tomorrow more important than the Premier League game next week? No, I, I would not say it's more important, but I think this is the next one, and this is why it's more important, because it's the next game. Uh, so I think to to think too far ahead uh, makes no sense because in this period in between you have to face uh, maybe different situations different issues uh, where you are not aware about now so to look too far ahead is not nothing what we ever have done uh, the good thing is we are used to this situation and now it's a i don't know third third period uh, which i'm here in England and I faced this busy period and then the FA Cup, as you said, uh, the oldest uh, cup competition in the world, always an exciting competition. So we are used to it and uh, we know uh, how we have to deal and manage the situation. Because of the, the fixed schedule you just endured over the last two or three weeks, do you find yourself in a position where you're going to have to rest players anyway through sheer fatigue? Yeah, we've. Uh, it's, it's not about to rest players, I think it's about to uh, use fresh players, uh, if it makes sense. And uh, this is what we have done in this peri busy period and uh, what we will do uh, tomorrow as well. So we will change, rotate like we have done in the last games. Uh, one player who will play, who will start tomorrow is uh, for sure Ben Hamer in goal. This is a, a swap we will uh, do for 100% if he stays healthy after two days training and uh, he is healthy tomorrow. This is what we will do, um, obviously, for sure. Anything else, I think we have to wait how everybody looks tomorrow. And the FA Cup, then, has it come at the right time almost? Uh, this is nothing how I think, uh, is it coming on the right time or not. Uh, we take the schedule on the shin and uh, try to make the best out of it. And now uh, it means FA Cup, Bristol City away. And you mentioned the importance of, of getting the win. How much value can that bring you going forward? This is what we can discuss when we have done it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, what, what is the approach then? Tomorrow, Ben Hamer's going to play. Are other players going to arrest, or are you going to try to play as much as possible? Yeah, I will obviously have a tight conversation with uh, Ian and John Iger from our medical and fitness department after the very busy period, and uh, then we make a final decision tomorrow morning uh, after. Uh, we've spoken uh, with the players and uh, I like to get some advices from them as well. It could be that the one or other who get very much used in the last games and is fatigue or maybe even more than fatigue, uh, we can't use, but maybe everybody is available as well. So we will see uh, how we will deal with it. We will bring in a starting 11, uh, which will be for sure competitive, uh, competitive and if the one or other get used to uh, wasn't used in the Premier League so often, I'm pretty sure he likes to show 
that the manager has done a mistake not to use him more often. So uh, this is a situation which we had more often in the past, as I said, or I uh, faced more often in the last three years. I'm used to it and I'm really looking forward to it. And for you, how would you like a running athlete? Yeah, for me personally, like always, uh, I love to win football matches um, and this is something what we all together need. In the past, I think, in the FA Cup, uh, we, we have done uh, a decent job or as good as we, as we could. Uh, went out against City and uh, se the season after against United, uh, against City with a, with a replay. So, like always, it's, it's, it's a very attractive competition, uh, a very traditional pro uh, competition. We are involved in it and uh, we like to stay in this competition as long as possible. And the word of Bristol City, they're going to be in decent form? Yeah, I said this, uh, they are on a very good run, eight guy games unbeaten. Uh, we are used to Bristol City uh, in the championship. Uh, we, we, we know that, we know Lee and, and um, what he has done there so far, he has done a very good job. Uh, we face them more often in the championship, uh, Lee as well. So we are used to uh, what we will uh, face on Saturday.